up it's going to be a 99 haul today i can't wait to share with you everything that i bought during 99 oh my god but anyhow let's get down to business mary delgan lip case i bought them in four shades the one that i currently have on is v027 it is this milk tea peachy orangey brownie kind of lighter shade i have all these swatches on my hand right now but they're only actually two shades this one here is 027 and this one here is 028 which i'm going to be wearing right after this before i film this part of this clip i already put one either 027 or 028 on but i couldn't distinguish which one was it so i had to take it off and then reapply one that i knew for sure was the correct shade which is 027 so this one that i have on now is 027 formula wise it is a lip clay so i would say it is a little bit on the thicker side longevity wise i actually gave one of the duplicate shades that i had to my sister she wore it out for a day she told me that it is not as long lasting as she would like it to be which means you do have to reapply it quite a bit throughout the day i have not wore this out so i can't tell you my personal experience but that was what my sister shared with me now i have on v028 to me there is almost no difference i can't really tell maybe the previous one is just a little bit lighter but i'll put a side by side comparison now so that we both can check it out and see what the actual difference is shade v028 it is actually an almond brown shade it has lesser orange tones in it as well as compared to v027 for me i actually like both of them <sighs> i can't choose i mean why choose when you can have both v816 this is my favorite out of all i would say even yeah i can tell you it's my favorite now even before showing you the last and final shade that i have this shade i would describe it as strawberries and cream it's an extremely sweet and pretty like pinkish creamy just basically strawberries and cream this is also one of their hot selling colors so i definitely recommend that you check the shade out if you're looking at buying these for the last and final shade v719 this is the color of wine extremely pretty when it comes to making shades mary delga has got their stuff man as compared to the other three shades i own i would consider this a darker shade and the thing about this formula is that it does not stain when you remove it so that is nice i think all four of the colors that i own i don't hate or i don't even have like a tinge of dislike for any of the shades which is crazy because usually when i buy four lipsticks i can at least find a fault in one of the shades but for these four i feel like all of them i love lip glosses from flower nose as you can see this is from the cherry collection i was extremely skeptical of purchasing these because if you watch my letting go of all my lipsticks video you would know that i have purchased their first mirror finish liquid lipsticks and i hated them flower nose is one of my favorite chinese makeup brands and these were the first disappointment i had from them however i decided to go ahead and still purchase these because i still wanted to give them a chance and also because the packaging is just oh my god look at this and tell me that this packaging is not calling out to you because it's calling out to me for the formula as compared to their previous lip gloss this one is definitely a little bit thicker but both formulas are on more of like the watery side when you are applying it it is not the easiest i wouldn't say it is the most user-friendly formula if you're a newbie it might take you quite a bit of time and a lot of frustration trying to get it to like the effect you want it to give the formula definitely improved from their first edition and i prefer this formula g01 it is sort of like a peachy almond kind of milky shade a little bit too orange for my liking g04 i would say this is a pinkish nude shade more of like a nude shade with like two hints of pink as compared to g01 i definitely prefer this one but if i had a choice i would not prefer any of the two <laughs> when you first apply it onto your lips the color is not the color that you are going to get when the formula finally sets and settles g09 as compared to g01 and g04 i definitely prefer this one better it has some purple tones in it sort of like a great chisel if you will <laughs> formula wise you do need some time to get used to it but i think maybe after 25 applications you would be good at it i actually really like this shade almost so much that i would say i recommend it <laughs> if you are not afraid of the watery formula i think this shade is extremely pretty as compared to g01 and g04 i think when i applied this shade on my lips and the color 
after it settles, it is the same shade. And I love it. G11, when I first put the shade on, I kind of found myself wondering, okay, uh, is this... G09. But after a while, I realized that no, this is not G09. This looks a little bit more mature. You will want to wear this color to like more formal events. This one and G09 both have gray purplish undertones, which are like the type of shades that I really, really like. But somehow I am not 100% feeling this shade. Eyelash glue from this shop that I chanced upon while browsing live streams. Although it is said that warm water can help remove this glue. After my experience, if you spray a setting spray on your face, it might cause the glue to come off as well. I don't think this is a bad glue, but if I want foolproof lashes that will stay on throughout the day without me worrying whether it would drop or not, this would not be my choice of glue. Concealer from Malka Pink. This concealer is more for spot concealing. So for example, if you have acne scars that you want to conceal or if you want to cover your moles, you can look at this product. I just want to say though that this shade right off the pen is too dark for my skin tone. So how I use it is that I mix it with the Malka Ping highlighting cream, the Gao Guang Gao, which I also own. I am really enjoying this product, but the only pity is that it does not come in my shade. This one is extremely uh -huh. dark for me, so I have to mix it, which is like a huge hassle because I would love it if I could just use it out of the pen like that. Concealer from this brand called Mistine. This is actually a Thai brand. They have it in two shades. This is the lighter one and it is still too dark for me, which is extremely annoying. However, I haven't tried mixing this with other products because I'm lazy. It's in this weird kind of pump, which I do not like. Just personal preference. The on this Sculpture Contour and Highlight Palette, I have had my eyes on this for the longest time ever, but I did not get down to buying it because it was expensive. The powders are pressed into different parts of the David Sculpture's face which is wow it's just artistic man if you you love art if you i mean like if you want to be a cool artistic person then you gotta buy this okay <laughs> highlighting shade here which is a gold champagne kind of shimmer highlight with almost no base i would say skin colored yellowish brightening powder face contour shade and a nose contour shade the face contour shade is a little bit more red as compared to the nose contour shade which is a little bit more cool I love this stuff, man. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but I did. I was afraid that this thing would be too red and that I wouldn't like it. It's not. I mean, I have it on. What do you think? It's a little bit, a little bit red, but I can accept it. So if you're curious what is on my lips, into you lip clay. The one that I have on is a newer shade. It is EM22. I love this shade. Oh my god, this is straight up the pink dragon fruit color. This is literally, I want to say like the color of my dreams, but there's just no, maybe not because the color of my dreams is, might probably be a black or a, an extremely dark purple, okay? But it is also, <laughs> this shade is also one of the color of my dreams. Out of all the lip clays that I own so far, I would say this has the best formula. It's extremely user-friendly and comfortable as well. EM15, I just want to say like, wow, this shade is extremely pretty as well. It is a pinkish orange shade and I do not hate it. It's so pretty. This one reminds me of this Peripera <laughs> lip tint that I used to own. Good days, man. My shadow palette from Gogo Tales. It is called the Secret Garden Color French Romance. <laughs> I don't know why they need such long names. Anyway, it's in the shade number 906. It's in a color scheme that is pretty hot recently, which is like the cement color scheme. This glittery shimmer shade in the middle right here is the star for me. I forgot how extremely stunning their shimmer glitter shades are until I tried this thing on. Wow, it blew my mind. Okay, I was like, wow, yes, this is it. This is how it felt like. I did use this palette in creating today's look, but only these two shades. Four items from the brand Jill Lean. This is a very, very hot item recently. I would call it the eye bag liner or the egg style liner. In Chinese, it's called the wotan bi. Basically, this is a liquid liner for you to draw the shadow of your under eye bag so that you look like you have 
egg yolk style which makes you look younger with my full on makeup i feel like it is not dark enough but on like a daily day-to-day -day basis i feel like this one is good enough eyeliners from jeoline i like these because they are like the 0.1 mm tip eyeliner liquid liner i use these to draw under eye lashes i bought it in two shades this time around i usually use the brown one but i saw that they had a new shade which is this gray one so i decided to buy and try it out i am using it today from now onwards when i run out of the brown one i will just keep repurchasing the gray one because i like the gray one better a tiny brush which you can use to conceal your tear trough or at least that's what i use it for or you can use it to spot conceal because it is so tiny it can be very precise when concealing your problem areas i think it is a good brush to add into your kit if you're into spot concealing or if you want to have a lot of control over concealing this area here under your eye two liquid lipsticks from the brand juicy this one is their touted as transfer proof formula the ones i have here are two of their newer shades m10 and m9 i thought this m10 was extremely pretty but looking at it now it looks nothing like the picture okay on the picture there is clearly more pink but in real life it is just straight up like oh i would say almost a brown with orange tones in it oh no <laughs> <laughs> I actually own two other shades from this formula which I do not hate but I do not love um, I think they are a good to have in my collection It's not 100% transfer proof but I would say it is at least a good 99.98% transfer proof I've actually worn these out for a good amount of time Longevity wise I would say they are okay but when you eat you still do need to reapply i was more excited for m10 but i think m9 actually surprised me more i think this is i probably have quite a few colors similar to this but this color is so pretty it is the color of dried rose oh my god pinkish and reddish vibes just very sweet and gentle and just looking at it in real life is just pretty formula wise it is a lip clay kind of formula it is extremely comfortable and it applies evenly and it applies easily i recommend this shade both size tone up cream from mary delga it is sort of like a cream that you apply that would brighten up your complexion a little bit on the days you don't want to put on any makeup i've not tried it out yet and i haven't tried anything similar to this but i'm excited the brand called acm i have never tried anything from this brand this cream is sort of like a spot treatment kind of cream i have this like pigmentation here probably due to age so i bought this in hopes of lightening that because it's just like one big patch out of nowhere i have used quite a bit of it but i haven't been consistent so as of now i wouldn't say that brown patch over here has lightened um but i'm hopeful two skincare bottles from the brand holika holika it is from their good Sera series it is actually a ceramide toner and a ceramide emulsion yeah include these two in my morning routine or whenever i come home and i remove my makeup and i wash my face and i just want to put some skincare on i would use this i use the toner more than the emulsion i don't really use the emulsion i have no idea why but i lean towards this toner more so far i don't feel like these two products have wowed me a lot but i think it just did its job of like basic hydration and maintaining my skin which is what i bought it for anyway to just do daily maintenance magic cream from charlotte tilbury oh my god i bought this with the intention of trying it out right because i've heard so many great great things about this magic cream what can i say man you never know until you try it for yourself how crazy good this is wow this thing is i would say a lifesaver on the days you do not have enough sleep but still need to slap makeup onto your face it's a good moisturizer before you apply your makeup especially on the days where you do not have enough sleep but still need to put on makeup which is me every other freaking day a variety of noodles but i'm just only holding one packet here they came in i think a set of eight noodles are only made with three ingredients which are flour water and salt all the unhealthy stuff is in the seasoning but it tastes good so far out of the three or four packets i have eaten there is one which is not really to my liking which is i like i think the salted salted veggie or salted fish one i can't really remember 
Mm, but so far the rest I really actually quite like. Some expansive candles here. I'm not a big candle person but I decided to try it out because this scent really intrigued me when I saw it. It is the tomato scent. I wanted to know so badly how this thing smells like so I bought it. First time buying from this brand. I think one candle costs about I think 80, 60 to 80 SGD. Expansive, but it smells great. I'm not good at describing like the top notes, middle notes, and the bottom notes, whatever they're called, but it just smells like fresh tomatoes with like the intensity of 100, okay? I would show you the rose one if I can, but right now it's right over there under the candle light. I don't know <laughs> if that is what you call it, but it is the, the light where you put the candle under. Yeah, it's right there now and it's like in action so I it will be quite messy for me to pick it up. I'll just show it to you in a different footage. Two bottles of perfumes or like fragrances. This one is used more because this one smells similar to my favorite Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia. This one has a little bit more woody notes to it. These pastries which is called the in Chinese it is called the Dan Huang Shu. Basically it is a pastry with salted egg yolk in the middle wrapped with a layer of mochi and wrapped with a layer of red bean and wrapped with a layer of pastry. The pity about it is that because it is freshly made the shelf life is only a good 35 days. But the crazy thing is that I always finish it within a day or two because it is so good. 7.32 in the freaking morning. I hate it when I film and day breaks. But anyway, I'm left with quite a few items. So I'm just going to quickly hurry through all of it so that I can go to bed ASAP. I didn't know this previously, but some beanbag fillings actually deflate with time at least mine does. So during 9-9, I bought four bags of beanbag filling. My plan is to discard all the old beanbag filling, which which is not much because it's like... Huh. The, the beanbag is now like one quarter of its original size. Collagen mask from the brand Geek. There are 21 mask sheets inside. It is not packaged individually. They are all put together. It is just a very basic and hydrating repairing mask. So experience wise up till now, I do not hate it but it did not wow me. Aloe vera gel with ceramide. I'm quite a fan of aloe vera gel which is why I bought this. Also because there is ceramide in it. Ceramide is a skincare ingredient that I absolutely love and feel is essential. So far this did not wow me. I think it just did its basic job of soothing and just hydrating. Look at these. This is just the packaging but this is the name card liquid lipstick from Perfect Diary. Two weightless velvet lip stains and two floating light lip glosses. What fancy names man. Matte Formula 013. Oh, the thunder is roaring outside. It is about to pour. I'm just extremely annoyed that I'm filming until daylight again. Extremely stunning soft peachy beige shade. Oh my god. Although it has orange tones to it, I was like wow this is such a pretty shade. I don't hate it. I love it so much. In fact, I extremely recommend this shade. Formula wise up till now, I think so far this is my favorite Perfect Diary formula. It is easy to wear as well, comfortable, doesn't feel like there's a thick layer of product on your lips. It is actually a liquid formula and it dries down into this soft matte finish so it is pretty weightless. Also because this is a newer formula, so right now in terms of liquid lipsticks when it comes to Perfect Diary, these are on the top of my list. 014, I absolutely recommend this shade as well. Extremely pretty as well, oh my god! <laughs> Wow, what can I say, Perfect Diary? You have done yourself proud this time round, man. These two shades so far, I absolutely love. I think they are stunning. I feel like this red is the kind of perfect, soft, gentle, desirable, kind of shy yet very alluring kind of red. This is the perfect fall red if you like to pick your lipsticks by the season. It is more of like a pinkish reddish shade with a hint of brown. Absolutely stunning. I mean just look at it. Oh my god. I'm I'm so happy that I own this shade. I wanted to say I'm so lucky but I bought it with my own hard earned money. <laughs> so I'm just happy that I own this shade. Moving on to the floating light lip gloss. The one that I currently have on is 113. Literally looks like your lips are made of glass. 
okay? It is so shiny. I can't stop staring at it in real life. I really like this formula. Formula-wise, it is extremely comfortable. To me, I do not feel that it is sticky. Another thing that I really like about this formula is that it smells like rose water. The effect that it gives, I think, is the most stunning one as well out of all my lip glosses that I own so far. Every time I put this formula on, I feel like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, it's final. This is 114 and I recommend all the four shades. Oh my god. It is so pretty. I feel that they are the perfect fall colors. Wow. The difference between 113 and 114 in terms of shade is that 114 has more brown. It is a deeper brick reddish brown kind of shade. Extremely pretty as well. 113 is small bright. I'm here to talk about these. The Kaleidos Lip Clay, the new 8 shades that they released. I'm not going to be trying any of these on today because I have made a whole video which you can check out. Formula-wise, it isn't as detestable as the formula from the green series. They are pretty similar to the formula from this pinkish series. For the darker colors like D05, D06 and D07, they do still need a little bit of work to get the color even. I like the shades but it's not like a wow on the overall because the formula is still a little bit hard to work with. But like I mentioned, my number one is B02 Mercury Wave. Love this shade. Laundry disinfectant from this brand called Insole. Because of the whole situation going on worldwide now, I have started to use laundry disinfectant. I thought it would be a good addition to my laundry. I have two liquid lipsticks from the brand Into You. Ugh, I was still wondering what to call it a while ago until I saw <laughs> the name at the bottom of the lipstick. It is called the Watery Naked Matte Lip Tint. Right now, I have on W01. I want to just tell you that it is stunning. When I first tried this color on, it reminded me of watermelon soda and that is exactly how I would describe this shade. It is this pinkish red, very pretty, gentle. Wow, I love this shade. I love this shade so much. I bought it without expecting too much but this shade blew me away. I definitely recommend to you W01. However, I saw in their live stream today that this is not recommended for people with dark lips. So unless you want to cover your lips with foundation before you apply this, then you can consider this. Formula-wise, it's kind of weird because it is like a thick, watery formula. When it dries down, it will give you a soft matte effect. And the thing about this is that this is their long-wearing transfer-proof formula. This formula can cause a little bit of staining which is why I left it all the way to the last. So this is going to be the last clip that I film before I pack up and call it a day. It is actually 9.22 or later a.m. in the morning now and I'm just so done with all of this. On W02 and I remember not being impressed with it when I tried it on yesterday, but looking at it now, oh my god, it is extremely pretty. It is extremely, extremely pretty. I love it. I guess it is because I did not apply it properly yesterday. I am definitely going to be checking out more shades from this range. I was actually feeling extremely anxious before I filmed the last two clips for these two lip products, but Looking at both these lip products now, it made me feel so happy that I forgot that I was anxious just like 10 minutes ago. <sighs> Definitely recommend this as well. I'm just extremely happy that out of almost all the 20 lipsticks today, there is only maybe like one or two that I do not really like. The rest I love with my entire heart. For this shade, I did put a thin layer of foundation beforehand because the previous shade that I tried stained my lips so I had to cover a little bit to show you the colour as true as possible. Oh my god, this is so pretty. I recommend that you go get it. Okay, enough said. I need to stop raving about this because I just want to close shop <laughs> and, and call it a day. I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Um... I just want to say that it is almost 10 a.m. now and my sister's alarm is ringing non-stop at random intervals. It is so noisy outside. The bird... 
the birds are chirping and I hate it. Somebody's dog is barking. The thunder outside is roaring. Daylight is shining in, reminding me that I am past my schedule. <sighs> Everything is just shouting at me and saying that I don't want to be here. I feel like my legs and my limbs are all weak now and if I stand here for like another one more minute, I'm not gonna feel good. So I need to get off this now, take this whole entire face off, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!